Hey guys, it's me Ellie. Welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel. Hey girl, please subscribe down below if you aren't already. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys uh, my shark sighting experience with my dad. Um, so this is going to be kind of like a story time. I mean, I know this isn't like the most intense story time, um, but I just thought I would tell you guys about it um, because it was like kind of frightening. It was a little surprising and weird. So, um, yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so it happened about, um, like, I think I would probably say either July 2nd or July 3rd. So not that long ago at all. Um, so we, my family and I, we were staying at San Diego, um, for the 4th of July holiday weekend. And we went to the beach one day and, um, as I said, one of those days, July 2nd or July 3rd. And, um, we went there and my dad and I were, um, boogie boarding. So we brought our own boogie boards, like we bought them. Um, so basically the waves weren't really that good and the water was kind of like, it wasn't, it was cold, but like not super cold and it was just kind of uncomfortable. And, you know, I haven't really, at the time I didn't boogie board in a really long time. I mostly just surfed. Um, so yeah, we went boogie boarding and... So it was kind of like new to me, if you know what I mean. And then my dad went out. He, okay, so we started off like, well, I actually started off further in the water than him. And then he kind of like caught up to me. And so then um, he was eventually further than me. And like the waves were really bad. Like they were really choppy and they just like didn't quite, they were crashing really fast. So they didn't quite push you in all the way, if you know what I mean. Um, so, you know, I only... I only really like caught like two waves I'd say that whole day um anyway so I went back into shore because bad waves and stuff and I was like talking to my mom and stuff and then um my dad was out there for a while and then like I'd say probably like not 10 minutes probably like five minutes later he came in and he was like he he didn't really have like too shocked of a face but he was a little bit like freaked out he was like he was like confused and shocked I was like are you okay and then um he said uh I could have sworn I saw a shark I'm like wait what like are you sure like there's there why would a shark come that close to shore that was and that was what was going through my head and normally I would be like really scared for my dad I'm like oh my god don't go back out there but I was like really like I didn't really say anything like don't go back out there like I didn't tell him to go back out there but I wasn't really like as cautious with him if you know what I mean I'm really hungry right now okay um but yeah so I was like um all right like I really don't think you saw a shark and he was like yeah it wasn't quite the color of a shark but I saw this little fin and I was freaking out I'm like like it was probably the the yeah like the first thing that came in my mind was like okay it's probably a dolphin like why would a shark come up that close to shore? And I'm guessing somebody already saw it, so there'd be a shark warning out by now. But, no, there wasn't. So I was like, okay, well, obviously you didn't see one. And then my dad kind of, like, said he, um, like, he was in the water. And he said he was about, like, how many feet? I'd say, like, he said he was, like, 30 feet from it, which is kind of a lot. But it was, I don't know. But he said he saw it clear as day and it was kind of like in the middle of a wave if you know what I mean like there was a wave coming and he was kind of just like cruising along um the coast but yeah so my dad said that he saw a surfer next to him and he was like asking him he's like hey you must be familiar with the area do you think that was a shark or a dolphin and the guy said he wasn't really sure because it was either lighter or darker than a shark or something like that because dolphins are one gray and then sharks are another kind of gray um so he said that it wasn't quite the color that he was expecting like i th i don't remember normally sharks are lighter or darker than dolphins i don't really remember but the guy was like it wasn't quite the color of a doll or of a dolphin so he was kind of like like not freaking out but he was just like that's kind of weird um so yeah um long story short my dad comes in well yeah, my dad comes in, we were sitting there, like, having lunch a little bit, and then, like, an hour later, I went back out, but I was just, like, playing football in the water. Um, but yeah, so I didn't really, like, see anything, but obviously wouldn't be there still. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, and then, like, I'd say when we got back to our hotel, I saw, like, a little shark warning, and it was talking about, like, 
recently like i'll put it somewhere on the screen but it was talking about a shark sighting and then i showed my dad i'm like was this the shark that you're looking at like i i would didn't actually mean it seriously i'm like are you sure you really saw one and my dad's like oh my god that's it like so to be honest with this video i don't even know if it was an actual shark sighting um or this video may just be a whole lie but yeah, so I don't know if it was a real shark sighting, it may not have been, but my dad was pretty positive. Like he's seen, we obviously don't live in California, so we're not at the ocean often. Um, but my dad was pretty positive that that was a shark. And he said like, yeah, actually it was like a long kind of skinny body. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of sort of scary. And I thought I would just kind of share it with you guys because I could have gone out there and who knows what would have happened. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it was just kind of like scary to think about, but yeah, so thank God I didn't really go out there and thank goodness my dad is okay. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would share that story time with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below. Again, thank you all for 1,000 subscribers and also let me know what you guys think of my new intro. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comments, things like that. Like, if you guys don't like it, let me know. All of that. Also, I have a lot to say. Um, let me get, let me know what you guys would like for the back to school series. Because I'm going to do the typical, like, I'm going to do 7th grade advice this year. And then, what's my backpack and back to school school supplies haul. Um, and I... But yeah, so let me know what you guys want for that. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. God bless.